Hi everyone, Mimi here. So I know you guys aren't used to seeing videos of me personally, but um, I've been absent for almost two years. Um, I know COVID was hard on everyone, but it's been a real bitch, excuse my language. The two years has been a real bitch for me. Um, I want to explain to you so you guys know, I absolutely love you and adore you, but I felt like I was frozen, like I couldn't go on because of stuff that's happened, and I'll explain all of that to you. So, last February, um, my granddaughter and I were really sick. This was before they announced COVID, and I'm not talking the February that we just had, but the year before, when COVID just was all crazy and everyone was taking as much toilet paper as they could. Um, but we were real sick. Um, we were sick as dogs for about six weeks and she ended up missing the end of her school year because it was so bad. So then next thing we know, everyone's having to wear masks and no one's allowed to go anywhere and COVID hits and, uh, in June, June 3rd of that same year, my daughter was in a rollover car accident with her daughter. We now have custody of our granddaughter and we started doing homeschool, of course, just like everybody else. The school here, not to sound negative, but the school here is severely lacking, so I was planning on doing homeschool anyway. But um, as much as I love my granddaughter, it was a big change for my husband and I. I, uh, she's a trooper. She smiles, she laughs, she hugs, and sometimes she cries too. But through all this, we went through her and I doing this homeschool. She finished, she started in the end of August and she finished second grade in December. So I gave her the rest of the <laughs> month off. <laughs> and then back in January, we decided we were going to go ahead and start third grade. So she finished both grades um, in the year. So we're doing that. We're trying to make all these adjustments to our home life, to our family. <clears throat> and it wasn't easy. <clears throat> Excuse me. But I still managed to try and get some of my videos done. And we live out in the sticks. So it's been really rough with the internet we have. We're trying to see if there's another one that we can get. Because most of the time we're lucky if we can get a video posted in within two, three days. So it does take a long time. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. I've got my Gator Haid, Gator Haid, <laughs> Gator Haid with me here. <laughs> oh, I haven't felt well the last few days. Anyway, so pardon the mess. This is me realistic. So anyway, December rolls around and I go have all these allergy tests and find out I'm allergic to 171 different things. I know, crazy, right? I literally should be in a bubble. <laughs> but the biggest thing which um, happened was I have, it's an autoimmune disease and it's called alpha-gal. Um, <clears throat> my doctor called me on December 25th in the morning and said, stop whatever you're eating, don't do it. Why? <laughs> he said, you have alpha gal. And I said, okay, what is it? Well, basically I have to be a vegan who can have chicken, but not the eggs, no soy. Now, all people that have alpha gal have different allergies, but they definitely have allergies to meat and pork, red meat and pork. Uh, a lot of people have the fish and seafood issues too, which I'm one of them. Um, so no chocolate. I can have dark chocolate, but nothing milk. No dairy for me. And um, <clears throat> basically, I 
I do what I can to eat um, healthy. I've lost a few pounds, not much. <laughs> um, my husband, he's a red meat and potatoes guy. I mean, you know, if he could eat steak or pork and rice, actually I shouldn't say potatoes, it's rice because he's Japanese. Um, if he could eat that every day, he would, you know, and I used to cook for him all the time. So, um, this has been a real change for us. Um, it really kind of threw me back, uh, for a little bit of a loop. Uh, and my favorite canine companion passed away. He was attacked by other dogs and he figuratively and literally saved my life. And I bawled for three days solid. I mean, I couldn't, you know what? He could talk to me because he's been with me for so long, you know, just a sweet baby, um, who is very protective and he was a mama to all dogs. You know, he was fixed, but any puppies, he would make sure they were okay. It, they all, he was, he rounded up all the dogs. He was the big dog in charge and I, he wasn't that big. He was little. He's considered a medium sized dog. He's, um, was miniature border collie and Siberian Husky mix. Beautiful dog, beautiful dog. He was just so cute. But anyway, um, I tend to pick and itch and scratch when I'm nervous and I'm a hundred percent nervous right now. So that was really hard on me. And then <clears throat> January of this year, I get a note from one of my friends saying, Hey, your mom's house is on fire. Now my mom lives in California and my bestie from then, from when we were children, lives right behind her house. And they were being evacuated. And I was like, are you sure it's mom's house? And she's like, yeah. <laughs> so I called my brother, my kids, and said, hey, I live in Missouri now. And I said, hey, can you guys go check on this? And my brother Rob said, yeah, I'm going right now. <laughs> so he left. He's there. He's in... Uh, maybe a 15 minute, 20 minute drive of mom, unless he's speeding, which he was at night. <laughs> and he's about five, seven minutes, <laughs> but, um, it was a big fire and, uh, mom passed away. She was my best friend. And, um, Sorry, I told myself I wouldn't cry. And the way she died. In a fire, it was awful. It was awful. We had to go through her house. It's so I hope nobody ever has to see is in the living room where you can see the ashes around her body where her body was it was left an imprint of her so it was very bad I'm sorry my dog barks whenever a door opens even if it's in here in the house so, um, the very next day, about 12 hours later, my foster dad died from coronavirus. And that was bad, too. So I was there. And we've been fighting for insurance and everything else that, you know, oh, we have to have a coroner's report. Oh, we have to have, <laughs> this is my beautiful granddaughter. Say hi. <laughs> oh, she says she didn't brush her hair, so she doesn't want to go on. That's okay. I didn't either. <laughs> anyway, so. No crying, we... <laughs> I'm sorry. Okay. Let me tell my story. Okay. I want people to know why I haven't been on. I'm going to write on you if you don't stop crying. Shh, 
<laughs> this is why I try not to cry. <laughs> I love you. <sighs> so, fighting with all the <laughs> different people, you've got to have a gazillion copies of the death certificate and the coroner can't get to it. For, it took forever. I think it was like six or eight weeks because there were so many deaths piled up because of coronavirus and of course we couldn't have a regular funeral because in california they were still i mean we were here too but california was even stricter than we were <clears throat> uh, so we couldn't have an actual funeral for anyone uh, mom wanted to be cremated and so did pop Um, so I had six days to throw together a little get, throw together a little get together. It's luckily we had a family friend who owns a winery, <laughs> I mean not a winery, a distillery and he happens and his best friends have to be sheriffs and <laughs> cops so they promised they wouldn't touch us and we ended up having several people show up which was wonderful but it still wasn't a burial um because we couldn't go to the, any of the <clears throat> <clears throat> i'm sorry <laughs> burial grounds so um basically we got together illegally <laughs> but uh we needed it We figured there'd be 20 people. <clears throat> there ended up being like 60 or 70 in this little tiny distillery. It was crazy. So we were like elbow to elbow. <laughs> but one of my sweet friends, Stephanie, the one lives behind mom's house, she did all the flowers and didn't charge us anything. A bunch of my friends came together and brought food. My brother's wife and her quilting group also brought a bunch of food. Um, I was able to get the, the programs done and uh, I was going to bring one to show you, but I did my Stampin' Up! thing and I, <clears throat> excuse me, I stamped on all of them and just made them extra special and beautiful. They were in a purple posy color and I did wisteria not with uh, wisteria <laughs> Sorry. Uh, beautiful wisteria on them in a uh, gorgeous great color so <clears throat> anyway um, so moving on um, that really we ended up being in California for two two months which at that point I had to go but the insurance company what happened was my mom had just had new electric stuff done by a big company out there called smud and a couple days later the fire happens right where she had the stuff done <clears throat> so now we're dealing with attorneys and we had to deal with this alphabet soup of <clears throat> the insurance companies and their attorneys and photographers, the SMUD and their photographers and attorneys, <clears throat> some electrical company that did the work and their lawyers and attorneys. <clears throat> um, our attorneys, uh, oh, the fire marshal and their, whoever they have. Anyway, it was just it was just a big alphabet soup. Like I said, it, there was just a million people there going through the stuff and you know digging into her personal stuff. Like, well, maybe she did it. <laughs> or like, really, she's managed to live there for this many years, and now it's her fault after you guys just insta installed stuff. We didn't buy it, and I'm glad we didn't. Because after the deep investigation, we just found out a couple days ago that Smud's going to be taken to court. Not that that'll bring my mom back. 
but it'll take care of the 25 years we're missing. From her life. That little girl. <laughs> She's eating her bread, so she doesn't want me to cry. <laughs> I'm just sniffing, honey, okay? No, I'm just sniffling. <laughs> so, anyway. So, my biggest thing is I want a formal written apology by them. And that's what I told the attorneys. It's not the money, but they do owe for murdering my mom. Because that's what it was. It was murder. Maybe a different way, but it was murder. So here we are, a few months later, and my niece is graduating down in Alabama, so I took my granddaughter, her and I left to go visit, because like I said, she, well, it's, she's been on summer vacation because she finished everything early, but even if she hadn't, everything was online anyway, so I, I could take her anywhere at any time of the year, so. <clears throat> I'm sorry. Anyway, so we go down there, and my real dad and stepmom, who I absolutely adore, um, if it wasn't for her, we wouldn't even know our dad. But she kind of gave him a swift kick in the butt. And <laughs> so we, uh, we, well, at least I do. I have a close relationship with my dad now, too, and my stepmom. And, uh, so much so that I named my daughter after after her. So they were she Sandy and my daughter was Sandra Marie, which was my mom's name. And all of a sudden, my dad he has issues. Ends up in the hospital. My brother Mikey and I. We just start tearing up. We were holding hands and holding dad's hand. And my stepmom was there trying to get him to remember who he was and where he was. He had pneumonia. And the doctors don't really think he's going to make it past Christmas. So I come back, I was there for like two weeks, and uh, a couple days ago, I got the message that my Aunt Debbie died from pneumonia. Y'all, I'm gonna tell you my mind has been so screwed up. I've got five boxes of my Stampin' Up! stuff that I haven't opened because every time I would open them before I'd always open them with my mom and the new calendars that came out I mean catalogs that came out I'd always go through them with her you know we she was a card maker too is that was kind of our thing you know and whenever she said she liked something I just buy it and send it to her because that was her favorite thing you know that was something that really connected us <laughs> And so I've just been frozen. I keep trying to do videos and I'm just fully frozen. I hate to admit that more than you guys know. But I haven't been able to focus. I sit here and I come out to my desk and all I can think of is I'd be calling my mom right now. Showing her the new catalog, opening the boxes in front of her. I can't do that. So this is my first video in a very long time. And I'm hoping you guys will come back. Because I know I've lost a lot of you. I lost a lot of my team members, which 
it's no fault of them. It's my fault because I haven't done what I supposed what I should do as a team leader. I've just fallen off the face of the earth, basically. And to all my friends and loved ones, know that I love you and I'm trying to get through this the best I can right now. And I'm going to do more videos, I promise. <laughs> I just had to do this one first and take that leap and go for it, you know? Uh, oh, the other thing with Alpha Gal, I can't wear makeup anymore. <laughs> so that's why I look kind of crazy, but I'm sorry I fell apart on you guys. I didn't mean to do that. I didn't want to cry. But I did want you to know why I've kind of disappeared from your lives. And I want you to know that I love you. I, I love all of you incredibly, incredibly much. I don't even think that's the right way to put those together, but <laughs> Hopefully you guys understand. Um, I, uh, I have managed to clean one of my shelves and the desk where I do my crafting. And I will promise you that was like a four day job. <laughs> I literally had one of those garbage bags of trash. I mean, I kept all kinds of stuff out here and you know, it's stuff I don't need anymore. So, um, I had to go through it and some of it was mail that, you know, I thought, well, maybe I should keep this, you know, receipts I should keep and maybe for tax purposes and all that stuff. So I got all of that input into the files and that took forever, but I'm finally able to get it all out of here. So that was a blessing. <laughs> and I managed to get everything cleaned up and covered and, you know, um, taken care of. And, um, I still have a little bit to do. Um, of course, I have to go through those boxes and show you guys all the stuff because there's a bunch. <laughs> and we have a new catalog coming out. Let's we'll see, today is the, uh, what is today? 13th, I believe. And Siri and I are leaving on Saturday. This is, so we've got four days. Anyway, Part of, I've left one, two, three shelves is all for paper and uh, stamp pads. <laughs> stamp pads. You guys, you should see. I have one whole huge um, shelving unit. I mean, it's, it's four or five, six, it's like six or seven layers where I have all my stamp cases. And what I mean by that, these, these goodies here, they have stamps in them. There's about 200 of them. <laughs> and I know I should sell some of them because I don't use them very often. Some of the ones I don't use very often. Um, I use a lot of them, but there's some that I just, I got them, I thought I would like them and I just, you know, they weren't my thing. They weren't my cup of tea, but I get them because other people like stuff. And here's the funny thing. I was doing some cards and I was like, oh, these are awful. And I had three ladies ask me if I could make them some of those cards. And I was like, huh. <laughs> so things I don't like, you might love and things you guys don't like, I might love, you know? So I have just made the decision and decided that I'm going to start showing all of it because somebody might love it, you know? So, all right, guys, I should probably end this video and, uh, get my button gear and get an actual video, a real video of cards and stuff and not just me feeling sorry for myself. <laughs> um, I just, I, I, I wanted you guys to know why I've been absent from your lives and I hope that um, I hope that you will understand and um, if not then I'm sorry I didn't want to lose you I didn't want to lose any of you but I know I probably have lost several well I know I have <laughs> so those of 
that have stuck with me, thank you so much. Thank you for understanding and thank you for being there and letting me know you still love me. I appreciate all your messages and um, all the love. Bye.